Drizzle, what up? Drizzle, what up? Joey Galaxy. Joey Galaxy. I'm quitting tear shot. I ain't looking at your chest. Turn around. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. My damn. She got junk in the trunk like Pam. Every time I see her, I want to bend shoulder over and hit her with that wham. 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 I want you like Uncle Sam. Yeah, that ass is heavy. I bet you can wear it up by the ground. Ounces. Pounds. Kilo. She go. Harder than pain like Shaquille O'Neal, but I'm talking 2003 though. His bouncing. His clapping. And I'm looking like Sada was happy. But for now, I'ma sit back in this seat and watch the magic happen. Look at that. She gave it, she based it, she raised it, and now it's amazing, fantastic, marvelous, especially when she arching it. She backing that thing up on me on purpose so she can't see how hard it gets. I admit, she the shit, real ass, she legit. She working that ass like a nine to five, and I pray to God that she never quit. She make it jump every time, one cheek at a time. You don't believe me? Boy, come see for yourself, I promise I ain't lying. Stretch pants, they your best friend. I can't see every time you step out of the house with them on you go win. Ass broken out, shout you showing out. God damn, you one sexy mother. Shut your mouth. Ooh, look at that, 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 look at how that booty shake. Look at that, 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 shaking every which way. Don't break it, shout it, shake it, and don't break it. Where are we at? Nobody knows. Oh my god, what's going on? What's going on? Oh, there we are! What's good, YouTube? Everybody ain't too here. Back again once again. Today, today, we are back for some more Pokemon Liquid Crystal Randomizer Nuzlocke. In the last episode, you guys, we got popped in the fifth gym <laughs> against Chuck, his primate. Uh, unfortunately, we missed the slam on Saturn, our Dragonair, and his primate killed us with a Karate Chop or some shit. And we lost another member! It went to hell in the death box, which sucks. It really, really does suck, because I really wouldn't really want to have that Dragonite. Both of our pseudo-legends we lost. But it sucks. You know, it is what it is. It is what it is. It is what it is. But if you guys also remember the last episode, I mentioned how they added a few new areas to Liquid Crystal. Like, uh, let me let me, let me, me just go ahead and uh, whip out my my handy-dandy, uh, my handy-dandy pokey gear and launch up that map card and uh, show you guys. You see how they have, like, uh, the Lost Woods over here? Um, Outskirt Island chilling over here, and then like uh, Hollow Cave up here, and there's a whole bunch of all this other shit in between and whatnot. Um, I actually went to the Lost Woods in the grinding montage on this episode, and again, it must be an event or some shit like that. I don't know, like, there's nothing in it. It's just like this really dark and gloomy woods. There's nothing in it. It's really, really small, too, actually. Then, uh, Housecare Island talked about last time. I went over here to Hollow Cave, and Hollow Cave, again, there's nothing in it. Well, I, I, won't, I won't lie. There's a whole bunch of, like, these holes in the floor. And you have to, like, um, 
fall through all the holes, and then there's like this door that says like once you open all the holes, the path will be cleared or whatever. So once you fall through all the holes in the floor and you open them all, like that door opens and there's just a yellow flute inside. A uh, yellow f flute like cures confusion on the Pokemon. So I was like, what the hell? We went through all of that just to get a yellow flute. So I think I found a yellow flute in Hollow Cave, and then there was like a white flute somewhere down here or some shit like that. And actually, if you keep going, like over here by the Lost Woods, if you keep surfing, it'll let you surf all the way to Kanto. Like I went to Kanto, and I'm just like, I don't think I'm supposed to be here just yet. <laughs> like you can come up here next to New Bark Town and everything. So it was just kind of, it was just kind of like. Alright then, alright then, alright then. But I did do some grinding in Hollow Cave. That was the closest area to our levels where we could pick somebody up at. But I did train everyone up five levels up to level 35 because Chuck's level jump gap, whatever. He went from 29 with, with Morty's Gengar at 29 all the way to uh, 38 with his Poliwrath. So it's like, please turn down, Chuck, turn down. But either way, quick party update for you guys. We have a level 35 Tit Duck, our Magmar. Overheat, Thunder Punch, Sunny Day, and Fire Punch. We taught him Overheat in the last episode. He actually learned Sunny Day during grinding. And it's actually really, really nice because his special attack is 84 and his attack is 85. So if that's not a mixed attacker, I don't know what the hell it is. So we can go for an Overheat and blast the fuck out of somebody and then turn around and Fire Punch him. Because we have the physical special split in this gen. So we can go for Overheat and not be totally screwed over that our, our special attack gets dropped. So that's very, very nice. I love that. I love that. I love that. Then we got Arrow, our Swellow with Double Team Fly, Quick Attack, and Wing Attack. Same move set. Nothing really has changed too much. We taught it Fly. We got Fly in the last episode as well. Then we have Shady the Crawdaunt with Knock Off, Surf, Vice Grip, and Dig. Again, same move set. Nothing's changed. Then we got Jerry the Heracross with Horn Attack, Strength, Counter, and Brick Break. Uh, I taught him Strength in the last episode, so again, nothing's changed. Then we got Zanzibar the Don Fan with Flail, Horn Attack, Rollout, and Fury Attack. If you guys go and watch the grinding montage, Zanzibar the Don Fan here was our first encounter on, what is it? I believe it's Route 41. I think that's what it is, the one uh, outside of, uh, is it Cherry Grove? No, it's Cyanwood. Where the hell is Cherry Grove? Cherry Grove is the second city. What the fuck am I talking about? Cyanwood, um, if we had the Super Repel on, so we never got that encounter. Uh, he was our encounter over there, and I really weighed my options because we had to replace uh, Saturn in the last episode, and I was like, okay, I'm going to go with Arnold P, the Execute, you know, just because of the, the typing, you know, it's nice to have a Grass Psychic. But then I thought for a second, it's like, you know what, I'd rather have that nice 99 defense and 97 attack than an Execute or Executor, and plus you already use Executor, we haven't used uh, Don Fan yet, so I was like, you know what, let's just go with that. His moveset's not the world's greatest just yet, I should probably teach him Strength as well, just for GP, but he's rocking that Flail, Horn Attack, Rollout, and Fury Attack, I did teach him Rollout, that's the team we got from Whitney, so yeah. And then we have Shaniqua, the uh, Needle Queen here with the Track, Body Slam, Surf, and Poison Sting, we really need another move besides Poison Sting, like shit, god damn, the Track, Body Slam, and Surf isn't too bad, but the Poison Sting just like... <sighs> Come on, man. Come on, man. You're killing me. You're killing me. Actually, what is Shaniqua's, uh... It's it's a modest nature, I know, but what is Shaniqua... Oh, God, there's a notable difference between the attack and special attack. Alright, then, never mind. But, we did also pick up the secret potion in the last episode, so we need to make our way through here to the top of the lighthouse and uh, deliver that secret potion to Jasmine so we can, she can get her uppity ass back to the goddamn gym so we can take her on. I hope she doesn't have, like ridiculously high levels. I hope she's not like chilling in the 40s, 45s or so. I feel like she she might be early 40s now that I think about it, but we should be alright. Hopefully we should be alright. We should be alright. Keyword here is we should be alright. We should be alright! You guys, we should be alright! Anyways, let's go ahead. Like, will that medicine cure empty? Oh my god. Um, like, please don't be offended, but like, you stepped on my Starbucks. Ha! <laughs> empty will not take anything from anyone but me! Gimme, 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 gimme! And feel like, how are you feeling? Um, uh, okay. I didn't do a voice for him for us, but still. Oh, like, I'm so relieved. This is just so wonderful! Thank you so very, very much! Like, I will return to the gym. Oh god, you will glitch back to the gym, shit! Of course, Amphi is an Ampharos, which, uh, lights up the lighthouse up here. So everyone can see and get to, get to, get to the shore. But actually, also, um, Homeboy should now be able to get back to the Oka region, right? Because he was, he was worried about, like, he wanted to go back to the Oka region, but he couldn't get there because some ships wouldn't show up or some shit like that. I don't know, but his dumbass should be gone now because I don't really like him. He tends to wreck me from time to time in battle. Homeboy right here, there you go. Oh, looks like the lighthouse Pokemon is cured. I can go back home now. Well, it was nice meeting you, Nappy. If any Saturn members get in your way, make sure to crush them. 
Say, how about a quick... Oh. <laughs> can we please say no? Should we say no? I would feel bad saying no. It's just gonna say yes. Great! I can see you in your eye. I can see in your eyes you are just itching to battle. Prepare yourself. You will lose. Oh, God. Oh, God. If we lose, it's the end of the Let's Play. So we can't lose. Because it's a lock. We can't lose. Axel, I'm not gonna lose against your dumb ass. He leaves with the Quagsire. Why didn't I see that coming? Okay, we got some levels on him. We got some levels on him. So I'm not too worried about it. I'm not too worried about it because we have some levels on him. But I can't do anything against this Quagsire with my with my tit duck here. So the question is, who, who do I go out to? Who do I go out to? Who do I do? What do I, I'm gonna go out to Shady. 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 Are you kidding me? He goes, mm, I hate that so much. You know what? You want to run a dig Quagsire? You want to run a dig Quagsire? I could do I could do one or two things here right now. I could either A. I'm confident I outspeed. Never mind, never mind. I could either A, swap out to Swallow, swap out to uh, Arrow, and Dig's not going to do shit to us. Or I could B, go for a dig of my own. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I was sitting there wondering for a second, are we going to outspeed or is his dig going to hit first? I don't know. But then at the same time, I thought, well, if I go out to Arrow, I can't really do anything back to the Quagsire. So at least Dig's going to do some damage. Surf, bitch. We're eating it up. We're eating it up. We're eating it up. Oh, Shady. Okay, okay. He didn't take it as well as I expected him to. Actually, he took it perfectly fine. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Really? You have. It's raining and. You... Oh, it's leftovers. I was going to say. I didn't think Quagsire got rain dish. Hello? How about you hold my surf? But, 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 bitch. That's a day, Quagsire. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. That Quagsire gave us so much trouble first time we fought Axel. Electabuzz. Oh, I see he's diversified his bonds. Goddamn. Not bad, not bad, not bad, not bad, not bad. The question is, what's the best thing to go out to? I know you get TM26 in Victory Road. TM26 is Earthquake, so I can't wait to get that. Hopefully we still have Zanzibar by then. Because, honestly, this would be good. I could have either gone out to Zanzibar or Shaniqua, and we would have been good. But I think I'm just going to go for the uh, rollout. Because why not? We're going to eat that up! We're going to eat that up with that defense! That's why I wanted Zanzibar right there. Cause even though I guess I guess being a psychic type, um, what's what's his face? What's his face? Arnold P would have still taken the hit. Really, do all your Pokemon have leftovers? Oh, that breaks dupes. Not dupes claws. Items claws. VGC rules, bitch. <laughs> no, nah, um, but I mean, it would have been nice. It would have been nice to have Executor. Cause then we would have had Executor, Magmar, and Electabuzz all in the same battle. All we're missing is Jinx. All we're missing is Jinx. But no, but no, Execu even though like I see Executor is like a part of that group, but still, it's it's really just those three. It's it's Electabuzz, Magmar, and Jinx. That's why a lot of people say that Jinx should get an evolution as well, because Electabuzz and Magmar got evolutions, but they kind of sort of just left Jinx out. <laughs> like they all got pre evos too. Really, I got Static on the last turn. <sighs> you ass. Um, should we swap? Yeah, I'm gonna swap. I'm gonna swap just just to be sure. Cause I don't want to run into it's Hitmon Lee, not Hitmon Chan. I was gonna say I don't want to catch an Ice Punch, at all. But we should be good. We should be good. As long as he doesn't pull out like a Stone Edge out of nowhere, we should be good. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna go for. Actually, let me look. Let me check and see. I'm so used to playing Drano hacks. I want to check and see what what is going to fly to the 70, wing attack to 60. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. I'm just gonna go for the fly. That's gonna keep us safe. It's gonna keep us safe at least for a turn. Cause I don't think that the uh, wing attack's gonna one shot, and plus the fly does more damage. So fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. As long as he's not setting up, which he didn't. He went for a brick break, so he should be good. The power arrow with 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 the power. Not bad, not bad, not bad, not bad, not bad. Arcanine, uh, shady. Uh, calling shady, shady penguin. Shady, should we go for shady penguin or should we go out the tit duck? I'm going to Shady. I'm in such a Wi-Fi mindset, because, like, the first thing I thought of when I went out to, when I was thinking about going out to Shady here, I was like, no, he's going to wild charge me, but it's like, it's, it's uh, just, it's just the fucking game. And plus, plus Shady was good, because I, oh, oh, such a good switch. The Hyper Cutter works well, too. So we're just going to go for the Surf, Heat Wave, la, 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 I like how some of you guys caught on to, uh, the fact that Shady could learn Overheat in the last episode when we went to the guy in the little cafe. And you were like, wow, Shady can learn Overheat, what the hell? You would never see it coming! Overheat Crawdon! It's the new meta right there. 
All right, Shellgun's all that's left. I don't think I have any ice types. That's, that kind of scares me that he has a potential. Uh, we have Ice Shard Domvan. That he's got the potential for um, a Salamence right there. I was gonna say go out to Tit Dug, but he resists Fire and Electric, so he can't do shit with him. Uh, uh, uh. Let's go out to Jerry. Why not? Jerry hasn't gotten any action yet. Jerry hasn't gotten any action yet. Come on, Jerry. You can do it, Jerry. You can do it, Jerry. Jerry, you can do it. All right, level 32. All this Pokemon are level 32. What the hell? Oh shit! I didn't mean to go for one attack. I want to go for the Brick Break. Powerful Brick Break. Double Edge. We're eating it up, Jerry. We're eating that up. Yeah, there you go, Jerry. There you go. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Oh, I keep thinking it's Rain Dish, but then it's like that split second in my mind. It's like, no, this Pokemon doesn't have Rain Dish. All of his Pokemon legit have leftovers. Can you slide the leftovers my way, sir? Please and thank you. Crunch, get out. Get out right now. Get out. You're such a loser. Such a loser. Such a loser. Such a loser. I think I mentioned at the beginning of this LP that Liquid Crystal is supposed to have, like, advanced difficulty and shit. Like, and uh, I told you guys I was talking to Callum about it and how, how they had higher levels in the first couple rounds than Drayano's ROM hacks do. Well, a Drayano ROM hack would not go for a crunch on a fucking Heracross. That's so, mmm, so stupid. So stupid. Never mind. Drayano for the win. Now, that's what I call a battle! He's got like a very go-getter type voice. That was fun, although I lost. You said I was gonna lose, bitch. You better be ready for me next time. Oh, I almost forgot. I wanted to give you this. Leftovers, leftovers, leftovers. Who knows? Maybe someday it will come in handy. The red flute. Why do we keep getting all these flutes? Good luck with your Pokedex quest. Your Pokedex quest. So he's gone. He's gone for good. Good, 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 good. I don't like him. So now let's let me let me show you guys here. Red flute. Snaps a Pokemon out of infatuation. Yellow Flute snaps a Pokemon out of confusion. White Flute, when blown, it makes wild Pokemon more likely to appear. Why are we getting all these flutes? I don't want none of these goddamn flutes. Ass. Anyways, so yeah, we fought Homeboy. Hopefully he's gone now. We don't ever have to fight him again. That'd be nice. That'd be nice. Can we get? Can we have just 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 one rival? Just one instead of the three? Because we had Callum originally, then we had Axel, and then Zane. Zane is still a thing. Did we fight him? Did we fight him? No, he said he was gonna go to the city by the sea, but we never fought him. Is he chilling in the gym or some shit? Because I don't know where else he could be. Are you kidding me? Speak of the devil! Ow! I'm so done. Literally, the moment I was talking about him, he shows up. Never mind. The only reason I said would he be in the gym is because he was in the gym in Azalea Town. So, fuck it. Here we go. Oh, don't think you can get away from me that easily. I've been training my Pokemon like crazy, and I think they're finally ready to beat you. Get ready, because here I come. Oh, God. So we're going to have two rival battles and a gym battle in this episode. My lord. Pokemon Trainer Zane wants to battle. He's got the... I think he has fewer Pokemon than Axel did, so not bad. Not bad, 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 not bad. Alright, so his Porygon... Oh, this is the same... This is the same... He trades Flame Body, you ass. This was the same matchup that we had in Azalea Town. We both lived with the same Pokemon. Not bad. Not bad, not bad, not bad, not bad, not bad, not bad, not bad. And the... Oh, mmm... We couldn't do the damage. We couldn't do the damage. We couldn't do the damage. We just couldn't do the damage. I'm afraid to, uh... Hit him up. Hit him up. I don't want that Flame Body. 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 I should've went for Sunny Day. That's what I should've done. Doesn't matter, though. Doesn't matter, though. I was gonna say, I should've gone for setting days so I could just up the overheat. Lapras? Uh, we could Thunder Punch it, but I'm, I'm kind of afraid of that. So I think I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go out to Jerry. Let's break, break the hell out of this Lapras. Either Jerry or Shady would be the two that would uh, get the job done. Get the old job done. Let's see here. We're a little bit more on par here than before, even if it is just by two levels. But hold this brick break! Clack, clack, clack! Jelly Scarf, bitch! Hold that. Oh god, he held it. Oh god. Yo god. Yo god. We're eating it up. We gotta run aerial ace Lapras? <laughs> Can Lapras get any flying type moves? Oh god, this scares me. Oh, we're good, we're good. We outspeed, we outspeed. Unless you got that ice shard. Gonna get that mega crit ice shard? <laughs> that aqua jet Lapras? <laughs> aqua jet Lapras sounds kind of scary. I don't, I don't know. Never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind. I don't know. I don't know what Lapras' stats are off the top of my head, but I feel like it's more of a special attacker because it gets access to like Thunderbolt, 
doesn't it get like Thunderbolt or Thunder and Ice Beam, a whole bunch of shit like that? So yeah, never mind. Aqua Jet Lapras, I never said that. <laughs> I never said that. If only we could get uh, like Mega Horn or some shit, that'd be nice right then and there. But I'm gonna go out to Arrow instead. I'm gonna go out to Arrow instead. These episodes, like like the one time when we left Azalea Town, where we, we fought the uh, two rival battles in a row. It's just like intense battle after intense battle. My lord. Hold the swing attack. But, 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 bitch. But, 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 bitch. I can't, I, I, I can't be as like loose and crazy in battles as I can as like when I read in text and shit. Like, that's why I'd rather. Oh, he's got an Umbreon. You bitch. That's why I'd rather have like episodes with a whole bunch of story as opposed to like a whole bunch of serious battles like this. But oh well. We do what we can. 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 But you got a bitch ass Umbreon. You deserve to die. You deserve to die. And I hope they burn in hell. Yes, I think they deserve to die. And I hope they hate in hell. Your Umbreon hates you. Look at that. It was a crit, too. Your Umbreon hates you, motherfucker. Ah, ah, ah. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. Destroy it. Let us get the crit. Give us the crit. I'm praying to the crit gods. God damn it. God damn it. Just die. <sighs> like, I'm steadily getting angrier and angrier the longer this thing's on my screen. Go away. Be gone. 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 Well, it looks like we were, we leveled just enough for this episode. We're not, like, super duper over leveled. I just, I'm still scared for Jasmine, though. I don't know why. <sighs> I don't believe it. <sighs> There's no way that this has happened again. <sighs> It's just logically impossible. I don't know what else I can do to beat you. While well, I'm training my Pokemon, so are you. The only way I can beat you is if I train twice as hard. I'll be seeing you around, Nappy. Yeah, get out. Pokemon Center's the other way, bitch. Follow me, because I want to heal. <laughs> I want to heal, goddamn. So we've had two rival battles already so far in this episode. Um, ideally, I'd like to get to Lake of Rage, or get Lake of Rage finished in today's episode. That's that's the goal. That's the goal. But we're 20 minutes in, and we haven't even gotten to Jasmine yet. Like, Lord Jesus. I said, oh, Lord Jesus, it's a fire. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time. Ain't nobody got time. Ain't nobody got time for that. I said, anyways, let me stop. Let me stop. Let me stop. Yeah, yo, nigga, Jasmine uses the newly discovered steel type. I don't know very much about it. I'm a dumb nigga. I don't know shit about it. I don't know shit about it. She has no trainers either. Woo, not bad, not bad, not bad. And you guys already know what I'm about to say. Only you can prevent lost save data, so you make sure that you save that game before anything important goes down. Because if some important shit went down, it's about to go down. In the battle, and you end up getting your ass handed to you or whatnot. You don't have to restart all the way back where the last time you said the game was. So before anything important happens, only you can read lost save data. Hit that save button, you'll be good to go. Now, Jasmine is kind of intimidating because of that Steelix that we all know she has. So I could either lead with, honestly, honestly, I'm not all too concerned about this battle because we have the ground type. Well, we don't have any ground type moves, but we have the ground types that can take a few hits. We have Jerry here who can brick break the hell out of things. We have Shady here who can surf the hell out of things. Shaniqua's got surf too. I'm pretty sure Donphan can learn surf, but that'd be useless to teach Donphan surf. I don't know if he can or not. I really don't think Arrow's gonna do much. And of course, the Steel type gym, so Tit Duck is here. He is a thing. He is a thing. He is a thing. He's a thang, thang, thang. Thang, thang, thang. Alright, let's go ahead. Oh my god, like, thank you for your help with the lighthouse. Like, ugh, there I said it. Oh my god. But this is, like, different. Please allow me to, like, introduce myself. Like, oh my god, I'm a Jasmine, like, a gym leader. I use the steel type. But do you know about steel type? <laughs> Dumb nigger. Uh, it's a type that was only recently discovered. Um, like, uh, may I begin? Uh, get out of my face. Get out of my gym. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Actually, I don't really think that voice fits her. Uh, I think it's the same voice I did for Whitney. Was it the same voice I did for Whitney? If it, if it is, I apologize. That doesn't really suit her. I feel like Jasmine should be like a little crybaby. Biggity bitch. But 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 bitch. Okay, so she's 36 right now. I'm just gonna fire punch this thing. I don't wanna waste OP just yet. TikTok does scare me though, because I'm pretty sure the Steelix is gonna have Sturdy. I don't know if it was Sturdy around third gen or some shit. That's like, oh god, the Steelix. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. And I don't want to hold an earthquake from the Steelix. Uh, 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 I don't even know if it has earthquake this early on in the game. 
I don't even know if it has earthquake this early on the game. I'm gonna check. Let's see who's got a higher defense. Defense is chilling at 72, and Magmar is chilling at 45. Okay, <laughs> so even if he does whip out an earthquake, which I'm not even 100% sure if he has or not, we're just gonna go out to Jerry here who can tank the hit better. Come on out the Steelix. 41! Oh my god! Okay, so we do have some leveling in the game. Because as I said in the last episode, I'm pretty sure like Claire's Kingdra in regular gold and silver. I'm not sure about regular crystal. I should look that up since we're playing liquid crystal. But I know in regular gold and silver, her Kingdra's ace is only like level 42 or some shit. So there's some clear leveling. So this is a little bit of a harder ROM hack than normal. But I'm going to brick break this thing. I don't expect to one hit it. Oh, ooh. not bad. Iron Tail. Oh yeah, that is the TM she ends up giving you. Holy! Why does that do so much? Somebody explain to me why that did so much. Okay, I'm gonna go out to Shaniqua. Shaniqua can take an Iron Tail with her ground typing, and we can surf this thing right back. That stab Iron Tail. And PK Sparks, why does that do so much? It's a female Steelix, too. Oh my god. I can't even attract it. Why does that do so much? Can we get the kill? Are you kidding me? He goes for a rock throw. Oh god, this scares me. Okay, so she's clearly gonna go for the heal. I'm gonna do the same. Where are, where are our hyper potions at? There we go. I'm gonna do the same. Just because an iron tail can fuck us up. I am not trying to get hit with an iron tail right now. I know she's gonna go for that. And hopefully two serves should get the job done. Maybe three. I don't know. Maybe three. But I'm just gonna go for it again. I'm 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 gonna, I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna do it again. You can't stop me. You can't stop me! Oh god, two serves should get the job done. Iron Tail. And if you guys ever heard PK Sparks, he is very adamant about this. But for whatever reason, Steelix does not get Iron Head by level up. He's this big ass steel snake, and he doesn't get Iron Head by level up. Apparently, it's like fifth gen move tutor or some shit like that. I don't remember, but he oh he hates that. Jerry's level 36. Not bad, Jerry. Good job, Jerry. Good job. Pat on the back, Jerry. Pat on the back. So Magneton, I think we're gonna go back out to Tit Duck for this one. Cause, I mean, there's really no reason. I mean, hit us, hit us with a thunder shot. Tit Duck's gonna take it. Tit Duck's gonna take it. Magneton level 40. So 41 was her ace. So I can see Price being either mid to late 40s, and then Claire is gonna be in her 50s. I feel like her king is gonna be like 53 or 54, 55 maybe somewhere around there. Which makes more sense because then going into the elite four, Lance's levels will be like in the mid 60s or so. So that'll be good. That'll be good. That'll be good. That'll be good. We overheated the Magneton for the win! You're like a better trainer than me in both skill and like kindness. In accordance with like league rules, I confer upon you this badge. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Now get it out! Oh, the mineral badge, the Monero badge. Da -da. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Like, the mineral badge raises Pokemon's defense. I'm like, please take this too. I'm pretty sure TM23 is Iron Tail. It's not TM26, which is what we really, really want, but it's close enough. You could, like, use that TM to teach Iron Tail. I'm pretty sure, didn't we already get that or some shit like that? Didn't we already get that? I guess we already had Iron Tail. Yeah, we have Iron Tail already. What the hell? <laughs> some TM you give out, bitch. You can, you can already fucking get your TM in the game. Alright, so if I'm not mistaken, we've officially washed our hands of Olivine City. As no Nexus would say, we have rotom washed our hands of this uh, of this city, so we don't even need to be here anymore. We can finally make our way back across Ecruteak. Actually, you know what? You know what? I was about to start heading up and going for a nice, nice, healthy walk, but I think we're gonna uh, fly back to Ecruteak. We're done here. We're done here. We're done here. We're done here. We're gone. We're out this bitch. Yeah. We can uh, just keep going. And somebody told me. Somebody told me. Somebody told me uh, to not forget that we have not gotten an encounter for Ecruteak City yet. So as that wonderful Wind Waker music hits, we only have nine great balls, one ultra ball. I want to go buy some more fucking Pokeballs before we start this. Actually, there's some shit I can sell, too. Let me sell this guard spec, get this these two nuggets out of here. Uh, we don't have a Psychic type. If we would have gotten an Executor, that would have been nice. Uh, the flutes I'm going to hold on to just for now, because I don't know if that's storyline or whatnot. Mystic Water, I need to give that to Shady. Red Scarf, boost cool and cool contest. Magnets, we don't have our Jolteon just yet. Miracle C, we don't have a grass type user just yet. I think we're good. Okay, we're good. Okay, so let's buy. Let's buy some great balls. 
I wonder if Olivine had Ultra Balls or some shit like that. Oh god, I don't want to spend that much money. Let's buy 11 and we'll have 20 of them bitches. Alright, and while I'm thinking about it, 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 mixed. I mi don't oh, know, we don't use it. Why do they even give you the option to use on that? What is Shady holding? Shady holds the Quick Claw. Shady has the Quick Claw. I don't know if I want to give it the Quick Claw just yet. I'll give it to Shaniqua for shits and giggles. Because <laughs> she's got Surf. I'll give it to her for shits and giggles. Why not? Why not? Why not? But okay, uh, somebody did remind me that we don't have an encounter for Ecotic City just yet, so let's uh, do some surfing here and see what we run into. Our first encounter Ecotic City is. A med tank? Oh, not even bad. Not even bad. Not even bad. So maybe this this third time's the charm here. With uh, God, we don't have anybody that can't. Do we have anybody that can just like tap this thing and not kill it? Cause I know a fire punch or an overheat's gonna kill it. I'm afraid the thunder punch might too. Actually, a thunder punch shouldn't kill it. Now that I think about it, because med tank that line is it's like Metagross is a pseudo known for defense, so we should be good in that sense. Let me see. Let me see what the, this does. Let's go for a wing attack. See how much that. Oh god, it does too much. It does too much for my liking. Uh, I'm gonna heal just in case. Just in case, just in case, just in case. But I mean, hey, maybe third. Are you kidding me? I'm just surfing around, looking and seeing what they have up here. Uh, I was literally, literally in the process of saying, maybe third time's the charm, because we lost Drax, that was our first pseudo death, then we lost Saturn, that was our second pseudo death, and maybe this will be our third pseudo, maybe third time's the charm, but no, we have to get a crit! on a quick attack and kill it <sighs> so annoying so annoying route 42 and mount mortar what's our first encounter in mount mortar first encounter is survey says a Ralts. that's not bad either actually put that in the pc we good to go i'm just gonna throw fucking pokeballs at it we have an ultra ball Stay in the Ultra Ball, bitch. Stay in the Ultra Ball. Thank you. Thank you, 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 thank you. Not bad. Not bad, not bad, not bad. It is highly attuned to the emotions of people in Pokemon. If It hides if it senses hostility. A powerful growl from the Ralts. So the question is, what do we nickname our Ralts here? Which is uh, eventually going to grow into a, a Gardevoir. I should say evolve into a Gardevoir. Huh. What should we nickname our Gardevoir? What should we nickname our Gardevoir? I think I'm gonna nickname it S N S D, and see if anybody gets that reference. See if anybody gets that reference, because Gardevoir is feminine and whatnot. That, that should got that should that right there should show you guys the diversity of the music that I listen to. Right there, we couldn't have gotten a good skin. Oh, that would have been so. Oh my God, that'd have been so powerful, so powerful, so powerful. See if anybody gets that reference. That's some real diversity of music that I listen to right there. And this is Route 42. Our first encounter on Route 42 is... We don't even know. <laughs> Can we get an encounter on Route 42, please? Actually, you know what? No, no, no. I'm gonna hop off that. And, uh... No, fuck that. I don't want none of that shit. I don't want none of these berries. What's a berry? What's a berry to me? Why is this here? Why is this here? There's nothing here. There's nothing here. Like, why is this here? Why is this here? There's nothing here. We just keep starting the fucking Zelda music, and that's it. <sighs> Scrub ass. But you know what? You know what? I think there's a, a patch of grass over here. So I want to see what we can get in the grass instead of just surfing on water. Poison point! <sighs> so aggravating. So aggravating. Hold this thunder punch. Tit Duck is mad. I'm mad. I'm mad. I'm living vicariously through Tit Duck right now. Mm. How's that make you feel, fisherman? Your water type just got wrecked by a fire type. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Hang your rod up. You poor excuse for fisherman, bitch. Okay. Fuck this. Fuck this. Battle me, bitch. Okay, there's a patch of grass right there. We're still in Route 42. I just want to see what we can get, even though since last time we had the, uh, overheat this bitch. We had the, uh, Mentang encounter on the water. Maybe that's, I mean, that's just bad luck. It's just bad luck. Overheat this bitch, too. 
because I'm confident we can kill this since we're 14 levels above. <laughs> uh, let's see, let's see what we can get here in the grass. Big money, no whammy. 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 It's a whammy. It's a whammy. It's a whammy. But you know what? I won't skip over Beautifly because I think in certain situations Beautifly can be power. So we'll just we'll just go ahead and we'll just go ahead and scoop you up real quick. Gus, that powerful Gus. Let's just scoop you up. Scoop up the Beautifly. There we go. 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 <clears throat> Despite its appearance, it has an aggressive nature. It attacks by jabbing with its long, thin mouth. God, that just looks annoying. That just looks and sounds annoying. Holy shit. We got our nickname. <laughs> we got our nickname right there. Annoying. There we go. Wait, I can't spell. Annoying. <laughs> Forgot the end. Annoying was transferred to box PC. To box PC. Bill's PC. Shit. Oh, my lord. And again, you know, it really, it really, really amazes me sometimes. Really, we missed the over. All right. Out to arrow we go. Out to arrow we go. Fuck your dig, bitch. Fuck your dig, bitch. I was gonna say it, it still amazes me because it feels like just yesterday we did um, what should we call it? We did uh, Azalea Town. Like maybe it's just because self destruct Are you kidding me? You scrub. You scrub. You you're such a scrub. You're such a fucking scrub. Go for self destruct first turn. You ass. You ass. Um, but I was gonna say maybe it was because it was the PAX weekend and like that just lingers in my mind because like I didn't get a chance to upload for four days because we were at PAX. Maybe that's, that's the reason why it feels like we were in Mahogany Town for so fucking long. Not Mahogany Town, what the hell? We were in uh, Azalea Town for so fucking long. But you know what? It's whatever. It is what it is. Yeah, it's why I as we're here now. And I don't think we can get a new encounter in Mahogany Town, which sucks. To be honest, it really, really sucks. And let me double check, make sure... Do we have any new encounters from Hollow Cave and all that? Yes, we do! We have a few new encounters in our box. Uh, Arnold P was the last one we had last time. Hollow Cave gave us Flex the Aerodactyl, which is a very, very nice replacement for anything in our party. I said it because Aerodactyl has the potential to hit hard, but at the same time, Aerodactyl is very, very fast, so I like that. Then we have Sea Shit the Sea King. <laughs> I don't know why I called it that. I think I was going to call it OMG first because of its mouth, like its face. It's like, oh my god, oh my god. But then I was just like, you know what, Sea King, Sea Shit. Then, uh, 20,000 here, which I believe was our first encounter in Lost Woods. I named it 20,000 because it was Pokedex description. Like, it's supposed to, like, like, it lives really, really deep in the sea. So, like, I thought deep in the sea, 20,000 leagues under the sea. If anyone understands that, gets that reference. Yes, no, maybe so. Either way, we have Huntail here. Then we have SNSD, they're also we just caught, and then Annoying the Beautify. So we got some, uh, some nice, uh, some nice Pokemon here in the box just chilling here in our barracks. And uh, our death box is, uh, let's not talk about that. <laughs> let's not talk about that. 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 But uh, actually, you know what, you guys? I think we're going to go ahead and wrap up today's episode here. And uh, I think I, I wanted to get Lake of Rage done in this episode, but we I didn't know we were going to have the two rival battles. So consider today's episode just challenges. Like we had the two rival battles and then the gym leader, yada, 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 yada. And then in the next episode, we'll completely take care of Team Rocket. We'll do all of Lake of Rage, we'll do all of the Team Rocket base shit, and if we have enough time, we'll do uh, Mahogany Town. So, yeah. See, see, this is, this is me. This is me and my OCD right here. Like, I'm planning all this out in my head. Like, I'm planning out all the episodes in my head. Like, next time, it's going to be Lake of Rage and Team Rocket. Then the episode after that, we'll do uh, Mahogany Town, and then uh, we'll do Mahogany Town. We'll do the gym, and, uh, oh god, I forgot about the radio tower. Hmm. Never mind, never mind, never mind, because you don't have to do the gym right away. We'll do Lake of Rage, and then uh, the the basement here. We'll do Team Rocket stuff in Mahogany Town. Then we'll go do the Gold Rock Radio Tower. Then we'll come back and do the uh, Prices Gym and Ice Path and get to um, Blackthorn City. And then the episode after that, we'll do the Dragon's Den and Blackthorn City shit. And then the episode after that, will be Victory Road and the route going to Victory Road. And the episode after that, will be Elite Four Champion. And then, yeah, I mean, anyways, that's, that's just my OCD. Like, immediately, I just overthink all of that. But outside of that, you guys, I want to thank you guys for all your support. Um, I was... Uh, I don't want to keep, like, cross-promoting and all this shit. But I'm going to remind you guys, in case you missed it, because uh, you may have noticed that we didn't have that promo for the 100k shit on today's episode because it happened! Our 100k live stream did happen this past Friday. I'll include a link to that in the description if you missed it. As well as the new episode of Ashgrave that went up on Lumio Station today! 
Uh, that'll be included in the description as well. You guys should just expect Ash Gray. That's that's linked in every single episode. I just want to remind you guys because I feel like Lumio Station is the thing, and some people forget about it. And Lumio Station in 50k too. We celebrate that on Saturday. Anyways, let me stop. Let me stop. Let me stop before I include too many links. Besides that, you guys make sure you smash the hell out of that like button for us if you enjoyed today's episode. And uh, with that being said, thank you. Thank you for checking out the video, and thank you for your support. You know me, it's Net 192. Uh, I'm out.